Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. I have decided to invest in a newer gigabit router. Yes, this is the D-Link N plus 300. Um, Wi-Fi for large home plus gigabit connectivity. It supports IPv6, Extreme N gigabit router. I'm um, just going to give a little overview about it. And the one I'm looking at is the DIR655. It's replacing another router I have, which is an older one. And there are different variants of uh, products over here. I think the N plus 300 is the, the one, almost the best one. I don't need a, a dual band one. You need a special adapter if you're going to do a dual band. Okay, so basically... Uh, uh, in the back, basically four gigabit LAN ports, you got power connectors, and etc. So it's very simple to set up. This one has a lot of warts. Of course, the you got some. I always go through many routers because I'm one in one. Um, this one's a very reliable brand. I have it in other places, um, so I decided to get one for myself over here. Uh, the video date is. November 13 so the firmware level is a B1 have a B1 it says firmware version 2.10 NA actually there's a 2.11 out there in the marketplace right now so we're gonna probably upgrade it to a newer version so we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what's inside I'm gonna take out the shrink pack Okay, so let's open them from one side. I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, brand spanking new. Of course, there's a CD that comes with it. If you connect directly to the router, you don't need the CD. All right. Just let you know. Best to read the instructions if you're not familiar with the router. Of course, the the codes, the licensing, etc. Of course, you have the the power. You have the antenna. Just the base. If you want to put it at the ankle, I won't be using the base. There's the router itself. That's how it looks like. And Ethernet cable. There's also screws attached if you decided to mount it on the wall. But basically, I will put the feet on. That's I think it's important to put the feet on. So this thing gets pretty hot, so you want to be able to get it to breathe correctly. There's other brands out there, by the way. And I tried quite a few of them. This is probably more the more stable router out there. So I decided to get a new one. So I'm just mind making this video. So this is part one of my video. Okay, I got most of the, the paper out. Just a reminder on the router, make sure you remove all the shrink wrap because there are some air vents over here. And that's important on the setup. So you want to remove all this. If you don't, that thing is going to overheat and your router will crash and you won't be happy when that happens. So basically I removed all the shrink wrap. The router looks good. You need to put the antenna on. Okay? Then we plug it in. You plug it in. Use the ethernet cables to provide it. You know, then connect it. In my case, I'm just connecting to a cable motor. It should be simple. So let me open this thing up. You tear out the bag if you want. And these bend, by the way. You just twist it in. Very simple.
Okay, well, we're gonna go power it on after we confirm all the, the antennas are nice and tidy. Okay, folks, I just want to show that I have set it up already. It's up and operational. You can see the nice lights blinking, blinky. And uh, basically, uh, you notice this light? If it's orange or amber color, who we'll say? That means the router is either rebooting or powering on or has a problem. Other than that, your router is completely operational. Um, one thing to note is that uh, the power is over here. If you need to power reset it, you just pull the power out, wait about like no more than 30 seconds, plug it back in, and wait another 30 seconds, uh, just in case you need to do a hard power reset. I want to mention that uh, many routers out in the marketplace with consumers are not 100% stable, but mm, once you have the right firmware, this is probably the better of the ones out there. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully the video was helpful. We appreciate a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.